Welcome to another math episode. Today we are going to learn how to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between two points in a coordinate plane from A to B. You can use the distance formula if you want. This is just another method. It might be easier for some because we are using our favorite formula. Everyone's favorite formula, the Pythagorean theorem. In order to use this theorem, we need a right triangle and right now we don't have one. All we got is this line right here. However, however, if you wanted, you can draw your own right triangle using those two points. So you can draw one like that or like this. And if you draw that, then it can help us find the distance between A through B. So let's do that right now. Let's draw one going from the bottom just like that. And there's my right triangle. I need to find out my legs first. I need to find the distance of my legs. Let's call this one A and let's call this one B. And you can simply do that by counting the distance along the x-axis. One, two, three, four, five, six. We know that A is six, one of my legs, and B going uh, vertical along the y-axis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We know that B is seven. Those are what we're gonna use into the Pythagorean theorem to find the diagonal length. And let's plug that in right now. A squared, so we're gonna take six squared plus B squared, seven squared to get C squared. From here, let's square these numbers. Six squared is just 36 plus seven squared is 49 equals C squared. And keep simplifying further. 36 and 49, those are like terms so we can add them to get 85 equals C squared. And if you wanna get C, if you wanna get that diagonal distance, the last step of the Pythagorean theorem is just to square root both sides. And that will knock out that square from C squared. You're gonna have to round the answer. If you did this correctly, you will approximately get 9.2. We're just gonna round to the nearest tenths for C. And that is my diagonal distance. A through B is about 9.2, or the square root of 85. All right, let's try another one out. A is negative two, three. Let's visually plant those so you guys can see what this triangle is gonna look like. A is negative two, three, and that's my X and Y. B is negative seven, seven, negative seven, negative seven, somewhere back here, and that's my X and Y. Once you have those two points, try to construct your right triangle, either going from the top, like that, or the bottom, like this. It doesn't matter how you draw your triangle, you will get the same answer. So let's just draw one, just switch it up. Let's draw one going from the top, just like that. And we'll call this A and B. To find A, I mean, yes, we can simply count, but I also want you to know how to do it another way. To find A, we can just subtract the X coordinate and find the absolute value of it. So we're gonna take negative seven and subtract negative two. So that's gonna get you negative five, but you can take the absolute value of that to get five because you can't have a negative five distance. That's where that absolute value comes from. So again, you can count one, two, three, four, five, or you can subtract the X coordinates, negative seven minus negative two, and then take the absolute value of it because we can't get a negative distance. So that's gonna be five. And why is this useful? Why is this subtraction thing useful? If you don't wanna count all those dots, you can just subtract the y coordinates for that one. So if I'm trying to find leg B, I can subtract negative seven minus three, and then take the absolute value of that result. So negative seven minus three is negative 10. Absolute value of negative 10 is 10. Now we know A is five and B equals 10. 
and let's just jump back into the Pythagorean theorem. 5 squared plus 10 squared equals c squared. 5 squared is 25, 10 squared is 100 equals c squared. Add those up, you got 125 equals c squared. And the last step of the Pythagorean theorem to get c by itself is just to square root both sides. If you do that correctly, and we're just going to round, you're going to get c as square root of 125. And if I round to the nearest tenth, that will get you 11.2. All right, I want you guys to try this question out. Maybe get a piece of graph paper, graph it, and find the distance between those two points. Draw your right triangle and use the Pythagorean theorem. When you are done with this problem, just unpause the video for the answer. Okay, here is the answer for that question. It is also 9.2, even though it's a different right triangle. You can do this two ways to find the legs. One is just to simply count them. So sometimes it's easier to count because there's just two spaces along the vertical or the Y distance. And sometimes it's easier to do this subtraction thing. And you can subtract it in any order. You can even do negative one minus eight. I did eight minus negative one. Take the absolute value of that and the distance is nine. So you can double check also by counting like that if you wanted. Once you have the distance of the two legs, plug it into the Pythagorean theorem. And don't forget the last step of the Pythagorean theorem is to square root both sides to get this diagonal distance. Hopefully that helped. If you don't like the distance formula, then this will be really useful for you. If it did help, throw me a like and a subscribe. And if you need more math help, let me know. But until then, I will see you on the next episode. Peace.